Welcome to Bunya Toy Town. G'day mates. Welcome to part one of the December issue of the Bluey magazine. This issue is all about Christmas. There's heaps of Chrissy stuff to do. There's over 60 plus festive stickers. You can make a fancy festive wreath. You can send a letter to Santa. You can also design your own snow globe. This is the best way to have a very bluey Christmas. You can write postcards. There's decos, doodles, puzzles, and much more. Come on, let's check it out. But first, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell button. First page. Oh, Merry Christmas. Woohoo, Bumble Nuts. It's that special time of year, and Bluey and her family are getting festive. Make the living room super Christmassy with your stickers. This is a sticker page. First, let's write our festive name here, kiddo. Our name will be Elf Bunya Toy Town. Here are our stickers. Let's get decorating. First sticker. Oh, that's a calendar. We need a countdown to Christmas. Wait, what's that say? Don't forget a wreath. Psst, you can make your own bluey wreath on page 34. Oh, that sounds great. Let's decorate the healer's house with this sticky wreath. Oh, look at that. Very Christmassy. Oh, look at Chili with a cup of coffee. Oh, Bingo's looking cute with a Santa hat. But look at Uncle Stripe. Oh, it looks like he's passed out. You need some coffee, mate. Okay, let's give you some coffee, Uncle Stripe. That should wake you up. Maybe you had too much cookies, eh, Uncle Stripe? Next sticker, we got this Christmas bow. Oh, it's nice and big. Let's put it on top of the holly. Oh, wow, check out that Christmas tree. That's a beaut. Let's decorate it, eh? We got some nice shiny red baubles. We also have some flowers, or is it a snowflake? Wow, those decorations look great. Now let's top it off with a Christmas star. Oh, amazing. Hey, Bluey, what are you looking at? Looks like you're looking at this Prezi. Let's add some stockings above the big fella. Oh, maybe he'll put something in the stocking. It's all a bit too much excitement for Socks and Dad and Uncle Stripe. Oh, they're off snoozing. Need more baubles? Make your own here. Let's make these baubles look a bit wacky. We'll give the healers a bit of a wackadoo Christmas, eh? What do you reckon? Oh yeah, check it out, Bumble Nuts. What do you reckon? Next page. Oh yeah, we got a story. This month's story is Veranda Santa. Oh, nice. It's nice to be nice, not just because it's Christmas. It's Christmas Eve, and the family are all together. How does Santa get in? There's no chimney, wonders Muffin. Maybe he uses the veranda, Bluey says. Let's play Veranda Santa. Bingo, cheers. So they rush off to play. Oh, look at Bandit. Good luck, big fella. Who knows what the kids are up to? Bang! Muffin crashes into Uncle Stripe. You have to say sorry, Bingo tells her. Santa's watching. He knows if you've been naughty or nice, cries Bluey. You won't get any presents, warns Bingo. Sorry, Muffin yells. Or Uncle Stripe. Looks like Muffin stepped on your nads. Ah, I'm sorry, says Muffin. Soon it's veranda Santa time. Dad puts on a Santa hat and creeps into the bedroom from the veranda. Bluey, Bingo and Muffin are pretending to sleep, so he places a little present under each pillow. Santa only gives presents to nice kids who are fast asleep, says Bandit. The kids pretend they are waking up on Christmas morning. Veranda Santa has left them a snow globe, shaving cream and a pencil case. Wow! Socks joins the game, and now it's her and Bingo's turn to be Santa, but... Socks bites Bluey! She did it on purpose! She's not even saying sorry, cries Bluey. She's only one, and doesn't know better yet. We have to teach her, says Dad. So Bluey decides to be Veranda Santa next. Poor Bluey, she doesn't look happy. What are you up to, mate? Next page. Now it's Bluey's turn. She puts a present under everyone's pillow, except socks. I guess Veranda Santa doesn't give presents to kids who bite, says Bluey. Socks is upset and runs off. Bluey, says Bandit. Oh, come on, mate. That's not a good thing to do. 
I think you should say sorry to Socks, Dad tells Bluey. I was teaching her that Santa doesn't give you presents if you're not nice, replies Bluey. Don't worry if Santa's gonna bring you presents or not, says Dad. It's not the reason to be nice to people, Mum tells her. Well then, what's the reason? Bluey says. Mum and Dad take Bluey outside to see Socks curled up by herself. That's the reason, Mum says. Imagine Socks did to you what you did to her, adds Dad. Bluey sits next to Socks and says, I'm sorry I didn't give you any presents. I was mad at you because you bit me and you didn't say sorry. Sorry Socks, says Bluey. Socks licks Bluey's hand. That's a way of saying sorry. Bluey gives Socks a big hug back. Oh, how nice. But wait, there's just enough time for an epic family veranda Santa Christmas pillow fight. Oh yeah, Merry Christmas everyone. What do you reckon of that story? That was a good one, eh? Next page. Oh, Christmas colouring. Oh, sick. Can you hum jingle bells as you colour? I'll give them my best shot. Oh, I gotta take a breath. Let's keep going. <laughs> That was tough! What do you reckon? Next page! Oh, decos! Wanna spruce up your bedroom in time for Christmas? Stop! Look no further! You'll need some glue, some sticky tape, some scissors, red pen, I got a texter, some cotton wool, some string, a cardboard, and a grown up to help. First, we're gonna make a bunting. Ask a grown up to help you cut out the festive bunting on the opposite page. Stick the two red strips together long ways with some sticky tape just like this. Add some glue and stick the bunting pieces together on the red strips. Once it's done, you can hang it in your room. Next, we'll make some paper chains. First, you have to snip out the paper chain strips. Oh yeah, can't wait. This place is gonna look like a Christmas wonderland. Next, loop the strips together and stick them shut. I got one loop. Now get another strip and put it inside the loop and stick it shut. It's gonna start a chain. Top tip, you can make more loops by cutting out strips from your magazine when you're finished reading it. Next, we're gonna make a banter. That's a bandit Santa. First, draw around your hand on the card and cut it out. Next, turn the thumb bit into a Santa hat by coloring it red. Add a cotton wool pom-pom. Turn the card upside down so the fingers are facing downwards. Snip out and stick on Dad's face. Next, stick cotton wool on the finger bits to make a banter beard. Oh bandit, that's one massive beard you've grown there. Add more cotton wool to the edge of the hat and stick on the eyebrows. Lastly, tape a loop of string to the back and hang it up. Check out this banter ornament I made. Pretty sweet. Next we got Xmas postcards. Color the words, write, snip, stamp, send. Too easy. These cards are double sided. So when you've done one side, just flip it over and write your message. Ah, sweet. It'd be awesome to send out these bluey postcards out to my mates. Cheese and Christmas crackers. Have a good one. Oh, sick. 
That's one nice postcard, you got the whole Healer family. Next we have the Healer house decorated in Christmas lights. Next postcard, oh it's Bluey with her mates. And the last postcard, you got Bluey and Bingo by the Christmas presents. Happy Christmas kiddo, no peeking. I've cut out these stamps and put it on our postcards. Time to write a Christmas message to our mates. Let's write our postcard to Davo from Bunya Toy Town. How you going? Have a Merry Christmas. Oh yeah, Davo's gonna love it. Next, let's write to Shazza from Bunya Toy Town. What's up mate? Enjoy the holidays. The next card is to Jono from Bunya Toy Town. Have a bluey Christmas mate. Last postcard is to my old mate Big Rick. Oi mate, did you get my prezi? Have a good one. The next page is spot the dinner difference. What a feast, fit for a festive family dinner. But some interesting things have appeared in the bottom picture. Can you spot all eight? The first thing that I notice is odd is the ice cream in the potato salad. What's that doing there? Next is an apple in the normal salad. Yeah, you can put an apple, but not the whole thing. Oh, that's a bit odd. There's a Santa globe on my plate. Oh, and look at my utensils. Where's my knife? That's not a knife. That's an asparagus. I love my ham, but ham and chocolate? Oh, that's an odd mix. I bet you Rita and Janet have messed up this dinner. Look, they dropped a can of beans. Looks like there's cherry tomatoes next to my ham. Looks like there's also a strawberry as well. The last thing, looks like there's something else in my ham. Is that a foot or is that an olive? I don't know. There's definitely something wedged between those two slices of ham. Check out the answers. Am I right or am I right? Oh mate, I didn't even read this. You're supposed to colour a cheeky little prawn each time you spot something. Oops, my bad. Next page, oh dear Santa. Ho ho ho. Tell Santa all about your Christmas and write him a really nice letter. Circle the words to finish your letter. Let's give it a go. Dear Santa, this year I've mostly been a really, is it nice or naughty kid? What shall we choose? Well, I think I've been nice this year. I always eat my friends veggies or friends lollies. I'd say my friends lollies. Or I love that orange sherbet or a milko. And I always say, sausages or sorry, I'll say sausages. Oh yeah, and if I do anything wrong, I promise I'll be fast asleep or on the toilet. I'll be on the toilet, on the dunny mate. And when you come, I won't be snoring or peeking. I'll choose snoring. Sorry Santa, I don't want to be noisy. So please Santa, I would really like some nice toys or purple pants. I'll say purple pants. I sure am a really nice child or pineapple. I'll say pineapple. I'm spiky and a bit of green. Thank you. Love Bunya Toy Town. Oh, what do you reckon of my Santa letter? Oh, nice. Let's write a Christmas list. For Christmas, I would like lollies. Second, I'd like a bluey bike. Third, I'd like a delish turkey. Four, a Christmas ham. And five, lots of fun. Oi, Santa. This is what my bedroom door looks like, so you can find it, okay? Yeah, that's right. My bedroom door kind of looks like a beach towel, okay? Yeah, you can't miss it. This is who I live with, and they would also like some presents, okay Santa? Don't forget him, his name's Buddy. Buddy would like a new collar, preferably blue, and a green dog bowl. Buddy will be so happy for Christmas. Next page, oh check it out. We got a Christmas countdown activity poster. Pull out, pin up and complete the festive task in the run up to the big day. Start on December 1st and pop on a sticky when you've done each thing. This is a sticker poster. Let's have a look at each task, okay? Day one, December 1st. Make your bluey wreath on page 34 and hang it on your door. Day two, make some yummy Chrissy Bickies. Mmm. Day 3, write your Christmas list to Santa. Day 4, wear a festive hat all day. Oh yeah, I've done that. Day 5, say ho 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 every time you laugh. Oh mate, that's a crack up. Number 6, write and send your Chrissy postcards on page 13. 
Day 7, help your grown up with a Chrissy task. Whack a do. Oh yeah, I help put up the lights. Day 8, sing a Christmas carol, dearie. Day 9, find a festive stone outdoors and decorate it in festive colours. Oh, that's a good idea. Day 10, magic Christmas asparagus. Turn your friend into a bush turkey. Gobble, gobble. Oh yeah. Day 11, dance mode. Festive disco time. Oh, sick. Day 12, hey grubs, make your decorations from page 16. Oh, I just did that, mate. Day 13, Chrissy sleepover. Watch your fave movies and eat popcorn. Oh yeah, I love Christmas movies. My favourite would be Home Alone. Day 14, make up a Christmas story all about beans. Rita and Janet will love it. Day 15, head to the beach or park and play a Christmas game of cricket. Oh yeah, it ain't Christmas without cricket. Day 16, play Christmas charades. Act out a festive word, no speaking. Can your grown up guess what it is? Day 17, you're an elf. Say yes if someone needs help. Oh, okay. Day 18, create your dream Christmas menu. Don't forget the veggies. Day 19, read your fave Chrissy books. Oh, maybe a night before Christmas? Or a Christmas carol? Day 20, pretend to play the bum bongos and make up a festive wrap. Oh, sick. Day 21, decorate or design your own wrapping paper. Gotta be done. Day 22, have a lovely bath and make a bubbly Santa beard. Oh, I did that today. I also made a lovely moustache. Day 23, tidy your room so Santa doesn't trip over anything. Oh, mate. Okay. Day 24, put out some treats for Veranda Santa. Oh, yeah. What do you guys reckon? This is the best way to count down Christmas. If you do all these things, you'll definitely be on the nice list. Thank you for watching part 1 of the December issue of the Bluey magazine. Don't forget to check out part 2 and remember to please like, share and subscribe and we'll see you next time. For mum, please don't click to subscribe.